Hi, I'm Ben Hanawalt, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco. And today we're going to talk about some more frequently asked questions that I've received on the Power Focus 6000. Today I want to talk about multi-step fastenings and how they can be utilized and how I believe they're one of the most value-added features to the Power Focus 6000 itself. So let's take a look into the software. Go up to the top left, the tightening tab. You're going to see two different tabs under tightening. You're going to see tightening program library, which is your traditional quick step, two step tightening. And then you also have a tab called multi step program library. Now keep something in mind for programming multi steps, you have to be on the web interface, which I am right here, or on Tools Talk 2, which we're going to have another video on how to connect with Tools Talk 2. Now let's go into a multi-step fastening and talk about some of the different features within one of these multi-step programs. So this is a program I created earlier and there's some major features and, and also areas of these that I want you to see so that you know what to look for when you're creating your own. First things first, let's look at the properties tab. So it's kind of hiding up here at the top and there's this drop down menu. So if we hit this little drop down it shows the entire properties which is where we can change our name thread direction, all of the items you see here under this properties tab. If you're using a, an offset or a crow's foot head, uh, you would turn on the attachment tuning in there. Also validation. So validation is going to be, uh, because of the fact the Power Focus 6000 can run multiple tools, we need to validate our tightening programs based on the tool that we're using. So I would turn it on and select a, a tool from the list right here. So these are just some of the different things to look for in the Properties tab, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Now the important part with multi-step is understanding how many uh, steps we can run. On a cabled tool, you can run up to 10 steps, and then on a battery tool, we can run up to 4 steps. Now keep something in mind. Battery tools have never been able to do multi-step fastenings in Atlas Copco. Uh, history. So this is a pretty monumental feat for us to be able to get these multi-step fastenings to work on battery tools. Um, the ability to do joint conditioning without using a cabled tool is really something that brings a lot of value to the multi-step functionality. Now let's look at some of the different steps we have. Uh, a lot of the normal stuff that we're used to, torque, torque plus angle, tighten to angle, yield, these are all different strategies that we can use. Now, when we want to put one into a fastening program, all we would do is actually grab it, click on it, and drag it over into the program. And you'll notice it's going to alarm us because we need to make sure that we have uh, proper settings in it. And if I was to click into it, you can see it's completely wide open. So I would set some settings in there, set a little trigger torque in there. Now this guy, we're going to yield it. We'll go 50 degrees. So now I've just created my yield program, right? So I've added a yield step into the program. Now we can drag and drop additional monitors and restrictions into these programs as we see fit. So if you want to use a prevailing torque monitor, you can drag and drop it in. If you want to use a restriction for you know, maximum torque, you can drag and drop it in. And, and these are all programmable. So now when I click open, you can see I have the option to program each of these different monitors and restrictions. So, if we look at a program like this, a standard multi-step fastening, um, there's a couple of things that we're going to notice. Uh, we can have, like I said, up to 10 steps, four on a battery tool. And we also have the ability to have uh, many different checks and restrictions on each of these programs. So now we've created our multi-step fastening. How do we use it? If we back out of here, back out into the main screen, obviously we can use our uh, source tightening. Source tightening is uh, a, a separate video that we've done about selecting through field bus or selecting through open protocol or another I.O. device. So we could use a source selection or we can just go to the task and we can change the task to a tightening program and run our multi-step tightening. And it'll, it'll give you all the alarms based on the tool that it's running and, and alarm you of why these are not going to work. 
So that was just a little bit about multi-step fastening, some of the values that come along with it, and some ways that you can use it to increase your productivity and also give you much more repeatability on your fastening. So I hope that you guys got something out of this. If you do have any additional questions, you can contact your Atlas Copco RSM with any additional questions that you may have. Thanks.